Hello there. I've been um, playing games in Elite recently uh, um, using the website uh, Elite Dangereuse, which is a French website, as you can tell by my excellent pronunciation of the name of the website. There's various adventures on there, and one of the adventures takes you here, which is uh, HIP17125. They're clever, the way that they write these adventures, because they just basically insert you into various things that are already in the game that have been found throughout the time that people have been playing. So initially, people got here by going to, well, stumbling upon, I imagine, a, a listening post in Maya that sent them here. But when you get here to this particular system, there's an empty wreck of a mega ship. Well, it looks in pretty good nick, actually, when you go and see it, but um, the megaship's called Victoria's Song. So basically, when you get in system, you'll you'll see that megaship and you can scan. There's some really cool logs on there. In fact, I'll, um, I'll play one of them if I can. Survey vessel Victoria's Song, Commander's Log. We arrived in orbit around planet A7A a day ago. It's been all hands on deck to make sure all the equipment is ready for launch down to surface. While the majority of our planet scans just show the usual mineral data, there is one area on this rock that is giving off some unusual readings. If there is any profit to be made from this outing, I'll bet my ship it's going to be found there. And um, when, you've, when you've listened to those logs, there's four of them, on that particular survey vessel popping up in your navigation panel you see evidence of a crashed ship on the planet below so you can go down and you can see the crashed ship and it's um it's it's not a human ship it's an alien ship which is great when this was put in game this was the first crashed alien vessel that was found they've not had any encounters prior to this this was the first introduction really of it and it was uh, it was super exciting at the time and lots of imagery of this and lots of reddit discussions about it and everything but people were really uh, really enthusiastic about the shape of this and it does look like one of the original thargoids from the game from 1984 so that's one of the pleasing things about it we know we know now that there's lots of different shapes they come in obviously all of them have this sort of octagon kind of base but but these the scout vessels must have been been the ones that were found in the original game <laughs> i think that's really cute i think that's a really nice interpretation of the original shape as well this particular thargoid is uh, crashed because it is sick it has clearly got something wrong with it and if you actually do scan the thing on the ground you, you get uh, the, the analysis of it is uh, that the high concentrations of mycoid particles have been detected. So it's clearly indicating that this is a vessel that's been downed by the actions of the mycoid virus, which was planted on a hive ship all those years ago by Commander Jameson and killed off so many Thargoids and kept them at bay for 150 years. But as we know, they came back and this is the first evidence of their return. So I think that's rather cool. In fact, I think they called that update The Return, which, you know, they set in their store there, aren't they? It's funny, when a game has been out for the best part of 10 years, you kind of forget bits that you've done in it. The clever way that they've written the adventures in this website means that you're actually weaving your way around the real game story to get to the same results, really log files and views and experiences if you were doing the website adventure you may not actually visit the victoria's song survey vessel but that has its own story the story about the suppression of the return of the aliens the return of the thargoids to the human occupied bubble that was quite a long long running ongoing story involving a, a secretive organization called the black flight and finding out about the black flight leads you to more stories about inra and the development of the virus that killed off all those thargoids in the first place then the development of the proteus wave the more recent attempt to kill them all the uh, the proteus wave was made by azimuth biotech 
and azimuth were linked to the black flight as well. So there's quite a lot in this story that's in addition to this one single little downed scout ship that you spot. It, it takes you off to various places. It's good. I, I think it's really clever. And it's all bound together with the present state of the galaxy now, fighting the Thargoids. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I, I always appreciate it when people watch because I know they are kind of niche interest at best, really. Um, but yes, thanks anyway. And I'll probably do some more. I, I, I'm almost certain I will do some more. Right. Bye. <laughs>